Hello there, YouTube and vinyl community, and hello there, Robert Z. My sister says hello to you. Uh, and uh, uh, you had a question that you wanted some response to, and uh, I've been watching your video. I'm watching Ro uh, me, Mr. Majel's video. Uh, interesting. Uh, questions and videos that uh, made us uh, think and uh, <laughs> wondering, I guess. Uh, you uh, asked us uh, when if, uh, an, if enough ever is enough when it comes to our collecting. Uh, is there any enough when it comes to uh, buying records uh, and uh, collecting records uh, even though we have uh, too much or, or haven't got the time to listen to everybody uh, every record that we have uh, and uh, it's uh, hard to to uh, question to answer but I got so it, it might be be a little bit of rambling but uh, I guy hopefully you will find some sense in uh, something that I say uh, uh, I think it much had to do with the reason why we're co we, we collect. Uh, uh, for my part, I collect uh, mainly for uh, the music, or should I say, more or less only for the music, in first, second and third hand. Uh, and uh, that is what drives me to do it. Uh, and. Uh, I said before that my goal once upon a time was that I'm going to list every record that I buy and uh, I had a collecting friend who also collect records who said give it up you don't you're not going to have a chance you're going to get behind realize it and uh, I had to realize it yes uh, I am way behind I have a lot of records that I haven't been able to listen to uh, because I, besides uh, records, also collects all radio shows that I'm trying to listen to also. Uh, getting a little bit of behind there also. But even though uh, I'm not going to get into that existential uh, discussion, I know that uh, we live a short time here on Earth. And, and uh, But, but uh, my main point here is that uh, even though I may not have the time to listen to everyone, even though I will not be able to do it. That doesn't mean that I can have that as a goal to listen to as many as possible. Uh, and uh, I have as a, a dream to be able to listen to as many, many records as I can as possible that I haven't been listening to. Because it, if I didn't have that as a goal, uh, and my main thrive is the music uh, it would be no use for me to, to actually collect I feel uh, because uh, the music is my goal then of course if I don't have time to listen to to uh, everyone I can live with that but at least I've given this uh, album a chance uh, that uh, it once hopefully will be listened to and uh, it's a lot of things also that uh, is so fun about collecting that I don't want to be without. Uh, there's a lot of, for me, it, it's not a question of uh, how much time I have left to, to, uh, to live. Uh, to me, it's more like a question of that many people are asking me uh, what I will do with all the records. Uh, is, aren't they taking so much place? So, so much uh, space and uh, shouldn't you, you uh, get rid of them because they take so much space uh, and to me it's I have if I I have an apartment I want to fill it up with something that I am interested in and like to show off and 
Of course, I'm going to fill the space that I have with something. I can't just have a furniture, a TV, and a computer and then do nothing. I, I mean, I, I want to, I like to have a, re a record collection that I can show off and feel proud about. And, and uh, to actually, maybe it's, uh, it will get into a discussion with music. Uh, so, uh, owning. I'm very proud of my collection of uh, the stuff that I have and I feel very good about when I'm looking at them uh, when I look at my collection and uh, I also like going out uh, on second-hand stores and finding I think, think that goes for most of us uh, when you come to a second-hand store, thrift store, flea market, whatever, uh, and standing there with a the box searching for records, and you're finding that special record that you've been searching for for so long, or that record that you feel, this one actually can be really good. You really feel like you want to listen to it. Discover something new. That is a feeling that I don't want to be without. And it's a feeling that no Spotify or no uh, iPod can, can, can give, actually. Uh, I have taken a couple of records as a proof of happiness that I have been getting of, uh, when it comes to searching and collecting about this one that I bought this summer. I showed this a couple of uh, videos back. Uh, this Isaac Case album, live album that I found for just two dollars. Imagine how happy I was when I saw it. And I, I, I actually could buy it. It was I was so happy. Or when I was in Stockholm at a record store called Mason's Rock Center. It was unfortunately no longer open. Uh, and uh, I have, was 10 minutes before they were closing and uh, I stood in the box uh, where we all record cost one dollar and I found seven fantastic in awesome shape jazz records like this one with Andy Kirk and his Clouds of Joy that I never have been finding any records with before I was so happy or this fantastic Lester Young uh, album that I found. Uh, I was so happy with, fi with these findings uh, that I wanted to dance around Stockholm. Uh, or uh, finally be able to find this album with Smithereen, Green Thoughts, that I have been searching for so long. Or this 12-inch with Swedish group Oi Sexundra. Another song that I haven't... That have, have I've been searching for for almost 30 years and fi finally finding it that is happiness that 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 I thrive on that I really really love w with collecting when I stand there and searching and uh, uh, of course I mean it's going to be hard listen to everything uh, then, of course, I can have a CD version, cassette version, listening to it uh, with my uh, portable CD player or freestyle, something like that. I don't use iPods or Spotify, so that one uh, is ruled out. <coughs> but, uh, and of course, it takes a lot of space. But uh, I do, as I said, once in a year, culling. I, uh, taking away stuff that I don't need anymore that during the year hasn't lived up to my expectations uh, and uh, that gives me space of course I, I, I know that I can go on calling forever and uh, for some, one day I having the, the, the things that I want to have and uh, I can't uh, give away anything more but uh, I can't uh, as Joe said I can't predict tomorrow. I can't uh, wondering about tomorrow. I have to live here and now. Uh, I love what Joe said about uh, 
being able to do what you want right now with this time that we have uh, and I want to collect music because that have been uh, my love for my entire life to be able to have music uh, to own records in physical form to show it off to feel proud about it to listen to it most of all uh, and be able to uh, spare it for the future then what happens when I die I mean that's I mean I won't be there to uh, see what my family or my, my uh, what people will do in my collection but uh, to me I feel proud of, of having my collection I feel proud about listening to vinyl of listening to new music discovering new music that I finally can find on vinyl when I'm searching because the searching and the listening that is the key word for me when it comes to collecting uh, and it's stuff that I can't be without because I uh, love it so much discovering new music and be able to find it in physical form owning it and be able to do whatever I want with it uh, so I hope that uh, <laughs> uh, some of what I said what was uh, uh, good. <laughs> uh, then of course I have discussed this with this collector friend of mine a couple of times because he has a lot more records that I have. He has almost 16,000 records in uh, cottage outside of his uh, house. So, so uh, uh, I have uh, CD and, and the full length CD and the vinyls about three three and a half thousand uh, and then of course we have uh, singles also and cassettes uh, but but uh, I have to live now I live now I have to do uh, I want to collect now I want to do with music what I like doing best that is to buy it to search for it and uh, to listen to it and feel good about it of discovering new music. So with that Robert I hope that you get a whole lot more answers and that uh, you have a really good time and everybody else also. Uh, so uh, until next time have a really nice week and so on.